uh, congratulations on the show. Uh, I have to say, when I first got the email from the PRs about the show, I was like, oh, 15 love. You know, it's tennis, a couple maybe, you know, eating strawberries and cream together, having some Robinson squash. It's, <laughs> it's not that show. <laughs> uh, so I was just wondering for you guys, when you first got kind of pitched the idea, whether it surprised you, because it's a very surprising show and it goes to places that I think audiences certainly won't be expecting. Yes, um, I think for sure. And I think that like that very gray area and nuanced kind of way of, of telling a story about a power disparity and power dynamic um, surprised me and it kind of surprised me along the way because I was like, oh, that's why she feels that or that's why that's happening or, or I don't know why that's happening. You know, it was like constant. And I think because it's in that very gray area mm. had that kind of surprising element. To yeah. It. yeah, yeah. Um, I think in, in a way, I probably felt the way you felt, you know, when it, because it's hard to, I don't know if there's a tagline that were, you know, it's, you sort of have to get into the story to really feel the whole thing as, as a piece, you know? Um, so, I mean, initially I, I just, I thought, I think it's a really brave story to tell. And I think it's something that I like, I'm glad I'm part of telling that story, even in a, in a really small way. And it, it's, our story is fictitious when it's not based on real characters, but it still feels like it has an urgency to it. Um, uh, and I think it's really well written. Um, I, I, I love the character arc of, of Justine's character and Glenn's character. They feel like the real movements from beginning to end. I think it's crafted really well. Um, it's entertaining, I think, too. Um, for me, it was, it's a really, he's a dark, and complicated, complex character. Uh, as many shades and sides to him. Um, uh, that, that always seemed very challenging. Uh, as, as an actor when I read it I thought you know I want to I can see where this can go um, but it's also as easy to kind of to be vague with that and I didn't want to be um, she's given us so much honey in the writing and I wanted to explore every facet of his character so um, it was all there so yeah it's yeah not what I expected either when I first got handed a script I asked what it was about and they said tennis and that was all I yeah and then it quickly sort of wasn't about that at all <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, now you're coming on screen, Aidan, uh, this is a question that I've just come up with. I know people always ask you about Bond, but is your next role playing Tom Selleck in a biopic? Because you've got uh, the Selleck going on right losing now. We're losing you, we're losing you. It's very Tom Selleck. Nice here too, though. Sorry? You're rocking out a moustache here too, you know. United oh, can't, oh, it's, a, it's pale imitation compared to yours. <laughs> that is proper Selleck moustache, Magnum PI stuff. I love it. Um, my, my next question was going to be, I mean, you guys as actors, when you when you get a script, what's after you've read it for the first time, what's the first thing that you guys do? Do you have a way of, do you go back and read it a second time, third time? Do you start making notes? Do you start acting it out? What's the, what's the first thing you do after you've read it for the first time? You do, Ella. Tell us. Um, what do I do? I read it and then I... I think about it a lot. <laughs> and when will you read it again? I I think like so I, it changes. I feel like all the time, and it kind of yeah. I, I often want to like get into my body very quickly. Like I feel like I think about it. I might like listen to music, and then everything seems to remind me of it. And it's more just like allowing it to kind of naturally. Like it sounds so like. Bleh. but like just allowing it to kind of <laughs> absorb into me a bit you know like like yeah and things so actors hate talking about us yeah you know somebody said to me years ago i'm this really well-known actor and, and i asked the similar question to him was like well what's the first thing like what do you how do you get into the character or whatever? And uh, and he said, and it was he was quite specific, so I'll always remember it. Um, <laughs> and he's really good at this too. But he said it's the voice and 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 the accent. He said once I can get the cadence or the tone, oh. uh, and the accent. And he's really specific about accents. I'm very good at them. Um, and he said that that tends to lead me down the rest of it. From there, I can get my physical body into things and and the rest of it but um but I just thought I wasn't expecting such a very clear answer I thought oh voice okay um and that's an interesting thing to do and I remember for Glenn as well for, for this role it was something I it was in the back of my head and I thought like it's not something I usually do as Ella was saying like it changes from time all the time with stuff like I think with a lot of actors it's very variable um your method or whatever the thing is um but I thought with this one I, I want to I can sort of I want I, I can uh <clears throat> I can sort of see him and I can hear him. So I want to find, I, I found a couple of people that I will not mention. Uh, they're not actors or they're, you know, they're in different industries, um, albeit famous or whatever. 
uh, but I, I, I sort of I, I pinpointed a couple of people there and and tried to emulate what the vibe I was getting from from those characters. So sort of based it on how they sound and how they move a little bit and how they use their words. That's great. Yeah. So that was the way in. It's like a problem. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some actors say the shoes are the first thing. Yeah, I've heard shoes. shoes. I've heard shoes. Oh, comfy, the comfort of it is that That's if I can right. walk properly, everything else will come. <laughs> oh the ground up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. Want no character to ever wear shoes. Like, yeah. ever, I just don't yeah. ever want to wear shoes. I've hardly ever seen. I know. <laughs> uh, guys, that's my time. But uh, thank you so much for your for your time today. I hope the show goes really well. For you. Cheers, thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey. hey.